I'm going to go over the ratios and proportions, continental land mass and population Excel document that's in your course. This document is a great way to show you how you can figure out percents and proportions in Excel and how swiftly you can do it. So this graph show, or this uh, chart shows us the area of each continent and the population in each continent. This is based in 2011. So let's go through and try to answer the questions here. So the first one says compute the total land area in kilometers squared and miles squared. And I'm going to put that as whole numbers and put it into cells K17 and K18. So that's right here. So I want that to be the sum of these numbers. So I want it to be all the numbers in the kilometers squared. So to do that, I've got this really nice button here that just says auto sum. If I click there, it's going to automatically look for what it thinks it wants me to sum up. And it did. It chose the row that I want to sum up. If it didn't, what I could do is click on one of them, hold my mouse down, and drag it over to the one I wanted to click, and select all of them. But, like again, it did it automatically, so I'm just going to hit enter there. And then I want to find the area in total for miles squared for the other ones. So I'm going to get in, again hit auto sum, and then hit enter. And that's going to show me the area there. So that's it for part A. Total land area is this and this. Um, I'm going to highlight them and put a comma. So see what I did? I highlighted them. I'm going to go up here and put comma so that it'll show me what the commas are, just because I like to see them. All right, the second part says compute the part to whole ratio for each continent's area. All right, so to do that, I'm going to go down here. And it says the percent of total land mass formatted as numbers. So to find a percent, what I want to do is take the part over the whole. So for example, if I want to find the percent of total land mass of Asia, I'm going to take its area and divide by the total area. So to set off a formula, I'm going to hit an equal sign. I'm going to type in the area of the continent. I'm not going to type it in. I'm going to select it. I'm just going to click here and hit divide by that total. And that is going to reserve that K17 there. And I'm going to hit enter, and it'll give me the decimal. That's 0.29. Now, I wanted it as a percent. So I'm actually going to click percent there so that it changes it to a percent. So I'm going to click it again to show you what happened. So our final, well, I'm just going to hit undo. Our first answer was 0.29, but when I went up here and clicked the percent button, it went to 29%. All right. Now, I did this. I'm going to delete that just to show you. I did it using the kilometer squared, but I could also use it for the mile squared. So if I hit equals again, and we always have to hit equals to have a formula. If I click here and divide it by this, the mile squared divided by the total mile squared, again, I still get 29% because it doesn't matter which one you use as long as they're both kilometers or both miles. All right. Now, what I'm going to do too, let me click in there. I want to preserve this number. I want to keep that number so that it stays the same. Because what I'm going to do now is drag and hold this thing all the way down. So to keep it the same, I'm actually going to put dollar signs around the front and the back of it. Sorry, I formatted that wrong. So I'm going to double click in here. And I'm going to put a dollar. So before I had, it was just divided by K18. That's because I clicked on it. I never typed K18. But I'm going to put a dollar sign before the K and before the 18 so that my function knows that I want to keep it. I want to keep, I keep that as the bottom number, but I'm going to change the top number. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this little box. You see that little green box down there? I'm going to hover it over with my cross. I'm going to pull it over. And it automatically does the landmass for Africa. And I'm going to keep pulling it over, hold it down and drag it, until I get all the way over. And there's the land mass for all of them. So that's the percentage each one is of the total. So also I want to pay attention here. It says format your answers to two decimal places. If you want to add decimal places, you're going to go up here under number, and you're going to click that one that goes to the left, and that gives you two decimal places. Look, it automatically did that when I didn't even have it highlighted. See, Excel is really smart. And if you want to check yourself, if you're thinking about percent, what should the percent add up to? It should be 100%. So if I hit auto sum here, 
see, oh, it shows that to auto sum. I don't want that auto sum. So I'm going to click here and highlight all my percents to see if it checks out. And indeed, I get 100%. So there you go. So we did that right. All right, now part C says compute the total population of the world. So there's the population of all the continents. I'm going to hit my auto sum button again to get, like, oh, it's, Excel's not that smart. I'm going to have to go over here and highlight the population so it knows that's what I want. All right, so there's my total population. Again, me being me, I want to throw a comma in there. So there's my total population. All right, I'm going to actually format this. No, it doesn't matter. I could t format that too so the decimal goes away because you're not going to have half the people, but it really doesn't matter. All right, now D says compute the part to whole ratio for each continent's population. So again, I'm going to do something very similar here. So I'm going to hit my equal sign, take my part, my population, so there's Asia's population, and divide it by the total population. So I'm going to click there. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and put, because I know what's coming up, I want to put my dollar signs before the K and after the K. And there's my percent. I saw a one there pop up, it's 61, that's right. All right, and I'm gonna change that to a percent. And I'm gonna go ahead and format my decimals. Does it say two decimals here? Yeah, so let me do two decimals here. And then I'm going to drag it and it should auto fill to the rest of the continents. There we go, so there's all the population. So you can see here, Asia's got the densest population, which probably shouldn't be a surprise. And I'm gonna check myself by hitting auto sum. Come on, Excel, I want to sum the rows, not the column. And I get 100%. All right, good. All right, so now for F, it says for each row in the table, compute the ratio of Asia statistic to North America statistic and scale the second quantity to 1. All right, so what I want to do is find the density of people. Oh, actually, here, let me fill out the rest of this cell before I do that. So now I want to find the density of people per kilometer squared. All right, so if I want to find the density of people, that's how many people there are per each kilometer. So I'm going to take the population of each one, I'm going to have my equal sign, take the population, and divide it by the area in kilometers squared. And that's the density of people per kilometer squared. And I'm going to format that to two decimal places. I'm going to go down with my decimals, all right. Um, and I'm going to see if I can drag it and just get that next one. I mean, I look, I'm going to look and see what the formula did to make sure I did it right. So it took C20 divided by C17. That's not what I wanted, was it? Oh, no, it didn't. It took D20 and divided by D17, which is exactly what I wanted. So I'm going to keep on dragging. So I want to drag this thing all the way down. All right. Here, the total probably wouldn't make sense to you, so I'm not even going to ask. Well, it's... We could do the total here too. It doesn't ask for it, but we could find it. All right, now the density of people per per mile squared. So I'm going to do the population. I tend to forget my equal to sign. Population backslash divided by mile squared. So there's that density. And again, I'm going to make my decimals a little bit smaller, clean it up some. All right, and then I'm going to drag them on down. And then I'm going to, and I could even, you can do this too, I should be able to take this and drag it down and then get that total. So I don't even have to hit the sum button again. All right. So now what I'm going to do is take each of these and scale it to like the country Asia itself. So here, for example, I take Asia. And I want to figure out what percent Asia is of North America. I'm going to take Asia's area in kilometers squared and divide it by North America's area in kilometers squared. So I'm going to do Asia's area in kilometers squared divided by um, North America's in kilometers squared. And that gives me 1.78. I'm going to scale it to two decimal places. So what that's saying is for every one square, one kilometer square there is in Asia, there are 1.79 in, I'm sorry, for every one square kilometer in North America, there's 1.79 in Asia, which makes sense because Asia is bigger than us. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the mile squared. So I'm going to take Asia's mile squared and divide it by North America. 
And it should not be any surprise that I get the same thing. Oops, sorry. Put the decimal smaller there. All right. Uh, the percent of total land mass, so I'm going to take the percent of total land mass of uh, Asia and divide it by North America. And again, you should not be surprised by what we get here. You get 179%. So that's saying that, or 178.86, which is roughly 179%. I'm going to actually go ahead and scale the decimals down there. Whatever it did, I didn't like what I did. Your undo is there for a reason. So I'm going to do Asia divided by North America. And I'm just clicking there, guys. I'm not typing. All right, the population. So I'm going to take the population. Now, this one should be different. The population divided by North Americas. And that gives me 7.68. That's a lot. There's a lot more people in Asia. Now, you see this keeps, like, going like that on me. If I take and drag this a little bit. Actually, I'm not sure why it's doing that. So that was C19 divided by, here I can do it like this too, I'm just going to cheat a little bit. That's 29.32 divided by 16.39. <laughs> I can see it's 178. I think it's just that there's too many decimals there. So what if I change it out of a percent? There we go. There we go. All I did was just change it to a percent. Okay, I'm going to change that to two decimal places. All right, so there's 7.68 people in Asia for every one North American. That's a lot of people. But if you know anything about Asia, it's quite crowded. All right, the percent of the total population. So if I look at the total population, um, I'm going to take this. And you can already see those are big numbers divided by this. And I get, I'm going to hit the percent button and change it. 768%. That means that there's 768% more people than there are in Asia than there are in North America. That's crazy. All right, the density of people per kilometer squared, I'm going to take this one divided by, if you need to scroll up and see what it is, you can. That one, and I get 4.29. And the density of people in miles squared, should be the same, is 430%. Oh, actually, I'm going to change it. That should be a percent. That should be, oh, I don't want a percent here. I don't want currency either. I just want normal. Do you see that button I've clicked over here? If you click the pull down button, you can make it normal. That's probably what's wrong with that one, too. Let's make that one normal as well. There we go. And then move the decimals. You see how I play with things? Sometimes you have to play with buttons in order to figure out what works and what doesn't work, and that's okay. All right, so now, let's see if I answer all the questions. So the last question says, Asia has how many times as much land as North America? Well, Asia has 1.79 times more land than North America. That's what we figured out here. And Asia has 7.68 more people and it has 4.3 times more, it's more dense, so it's more population there than it is in North America. Right, so that's it for that one. I will post this in Blackboard so you can see it, and I'll post the answers too if you want to play with it, but play with this please, and I'll be posting another one for you to work on your own as well. If you have any questions, please let me know.